Hey loves, what's going on? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, sorry guys, I just like stuff a certain way. <laughs> no, I don't have OCD. <laughs> oh, okay. So I had started the video, but I noticed my instance is falling on it on my desk and I don't like a mess like that. You know, the candles and sage and stuff on a desk that looks so tacky and it looks nasty and disgusting and I'm clean and unorganized. I just feel like the energy is off so I had to stop the video so I apologize and get the instant hold particularly for them. So when I first shuffled them I did get that you guys have a love interest, somebody who could have put you in a third party situation. Um, that can be uh, actually looking for you um, who could be also following you on the social media platform because I know it's um, I get that inclination a lot um, intuitively so be mindful of that <clears throat> and good morning good morning to you guys I'm so sorry because I, I said all that intro at the other one so good morning loves this is spiritually gifted here I want to tap in as a collective reading for you love bugs um also i noticed that the water signs did not upload um i'm gonna have to re-upload that so i do apologize for that because i'm like wait a minute it is saturday and i noticed it yesterday and i tried to re-upload it but we had an outage okay so sorry about that power outage so y'all need to be careful too because I, that was a um, double confirmation that y'all may have some blackouts where you guys are so if i were you i would go and stock up at dollar store or wherever y'all shopping Get y'all the cheapest candles. Don't be trying to get bougie and get them real expensive. Well, unless that's what y'all like. But I'm just saying as far as for outages in particular. So you want to make sure um, you guys are set. Especially for those who have kids. Okay. So which means, you know, when we have little ones, we have to purchase more small ones. You know, or more safety ones, you know, with the tempered glass just in case they fall over or whatever. So right off the bat, um, you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay. We do have the Tempest card here. Um, I also have, uh, hold on, let me put these over. So, we do have the Knight of Wands, which is the Knight of Bones. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay. So, we have the Temperance. So, some of you guys <clears throat> could have fire in your chart. You're dealing with um, <clears throat> a fire sign. Here is the Yosage, pardon me. Capricorn towards Virgo. <clears throat> uh, let me see. Gemini. Wait, I did Gemini. These are Aquarius. No, 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 no. Aries, Leo, Sag. Capricorn towards Virgo. Could be dealing with a water sign as well. Yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. <clears throat> So, when I first shuffled the deck, um, you guys had jumpers, but I put them back because I'm starting a new video. I don't like cards being on. Unless I'm guided to give you guys that information, I'll give it to you. Um, but I no longer like to do that. Unless something is very important and Spirit wake me up and tell me to give this message, okay? So, some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, some of you could be finding out that the Sag is pregnant or um, some of these Sag is could be trying to balance the situation with you. Um, wanted to apologize, come in and apologize for something they said or something they did. Okay, this is somebody who could have Sagittarius. They may not have it prominent in their uh, chart, but they have Sag somewhere. Could be in their, what do you call it, Venus sign? Their Venus or their moon, okay? Somebody could be very cocky too. Damn. Wow, okay. Hold on, Liz, I have to pay attention what it is. Oh, y'all have a lot coming out. Sorry about that. That's double confirmation. That's my alarm. Sorry about that. It lets me know when people are in front of my door. Okay, so let's see what we have. Yeah, so this could be a Gemini or a, a former love interest or ex um, who could have left you out in the cold loves, okay? Also, I'm picking up something in regards to finance. If somebody could have won the lottery and they want to share the fortune with you, I'm picking up something more of the like the will of fortune. Um, I open that window. Why the hell is it so hard here? 
somebody could it could be somebody that suffered from hot flashes because I'm literally getting hot and my window is open so I know that's not my energy okay so somebody came into some money um, originally I'm picking up somebody who has a hard time with some finances but what's happening is the table is being turned I'm picking up the I'm telling you the wheel of fortune yeah somebody could have lost a, a great deal of money or lost a job um, I'm picking up something in regards to like the eight of pentacles but it's in reverse okay so somebody's not as self-sufficient somebody used to be self-sufficient but they're not as self-sufficient anymore when it comes to finances or st stable any longer but I feel I'm picking up a I knew it. Yeah, I, I set the cards down and I didn't pay attention to all of them because I wanted to start from the top and work my way down. And then I kept saying, I kept picking up the Wheel of Fortune. It's right here. So somebody came into, um, like, you, you know how you have, okay, let's do this because it's like so much coming through right now. So this could be a Sagittarius who's having a hard time or somebody with Sagittarius child or they can actually be governing this energy, okay? With that being said, this person could have had a stable job. Um, money saved for one um, investments things of that nature and because of something that they did or some type of karmic debt this person is in great deal of despair it, all across the board their finances their homes their jobs someone could have lost their job got demoted um, this is to me karmic a karmic debt that has to be paid because it could be something that they did to you love bugs okay also what I'm picking up too that this person could have did some type of root work on you guys um them in a third party situation this person could have been constantly putting you in third party situation like make up to break up pick a fight so they can go and fuck around with somebody else um i'm also picking up that some of you guys are dealing with somebody who could have got somebody else was else pregnant while they were with you or in a relationship with you or doing a break okay and didn't tell you and they're just finding out themselves or they already knew okay different sorts of different folks everybody's situation is different okay so now the tables are turned and i feel like y'all could have made some type of um what do you call it um Y'all could have made a promise to one another like, oh, if um, I won a lottery, um, we're going to get married, you know, we're going to live life or whatever the case may be. I'm picking up this person or you came into some type of great fortune, okay? Um, I'm picking up most, uh, pretty much a, a, a major lottery win. Two of the highest paid, paid out lottery, okay? That's what I'm picking up. I kid y'all not, okay? So I feel like this person feel like you guys have a major connection or some type of uh, comic ties towards one another. Now, this also could be, a, um, for some of you, you guys have a soulmate coming in, okay, um, that actually wants to settle down, that have the same values and morals as you, that's highly spiritual as well, okay? Somebody who went through the same thing you went through, but of course, it is slightly different, but in, in returns to, in turn of um, heartbreak and despair. So it's like they were in a healing transition. Wow. So you guys both may be doing research. And this person may end up being um, younger than you. Okay. Um, could have dark hair. Could be the type that dress laid back. They're not into all that high fashion. But, you know, if it's like an event or something like that, they, whew, they be lit. <laughs> Nicely dressed. You know what I'm saying? Y'all may see eye to eye with each other. Okay. I see both of you like literally doing so well like this it's like y'all starting the ground up this is not somebody who already have um their finances together at this time okay and then what happens is you guys come up together and you do something together because both of you used to people only want to be with people that have money already in the bank it's nothing wrong with that don't get me wrong but some people don't mind like you know you getting your credit together you getting your stability together and then when you meet somebody y'all in the same situation or been through the same situation and you're you um elevating together y'all merge together and y'all elevate together and you know there you don't have to worry about oh this person only want me because of this or um my finances or whatever the case may be or they may just be using me to get certain things so you don't have to worry about that anything else 7 11 on the clock loves Anything else, ancestors? Ancestors, you have any more messages for your life with? Yes. This could be an Aries. Okay. What's up with the Aries? 
Come on, come on, let's look at the Aries. Oh, did y'all see how she just kicked that sucker out? I was like, what's up with the Aries? Oh, they made a decision. Ooh, ooh. Also, when I'm, I can't, y'all, I'm so sorry. I can't stand when a car is spent like that. I'm also picking up that this is an Aries. This could be a boss. Um, this could be somebody that actually made a decision. This could be the one who actually hurt you, who put you in a third party situation, loves. Okay. And they made a choice. You know what was best for them. You can't knock nobody for doing that. That's how they feel. That's what it is. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Everything happened for a reason. Sometimes some people are in your life for a season. Some you have to learn to grow. Or it is a, um, a um, how shall I say it? There is a reason for you guys to go through what you're going through. In other words, it was meant for that person to venture out to it somewhere. Because they probably have some type of comic debt with that person. Okay, or karmic ties, whatever you want to call it. And um, it was meant for you to elevate mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Um, don't be in a codependent relationship. Also, it, it could be to the um, for you to understand your worth, know your worth, and know that you don't have to tolerate a lot of bullshit, and also to break certain ties and repeat it. It's like you constantly keep doing the same cycle over and over again. So spirit was trying to like, no, you're going to learn this lesson one way or the other. If we have to sour things for you and shut it down, then that's what's going to happen. What are the messages you have for the collect? Okay. Ooh. Thank you. Okay. Also, when I'm picking up, there's areas that may have found out finally that things happen for a reason. Um, they may feel like they don't deserve love because of what they've done. Now, this person actually could have, the person who they chose over you could have um, done them shady. Like, really took them for their money, the house, the whole nine yard. Um, used them for financial gain. You know, damn. Had them marry them so that they can have some type of alimony coming in. Y'all, that could be a lot of... It's, it's sad. Okay. Could have lied to this person and told them, Oh, we're twins and we're so missing. It was meant for us to be together. Okay. They was just bread. You know how they say... um. You know how people put on facades and they play these little not and these mind manipulative games. They can also be doing um, magic on them to make them submit to them to do things that they may not do. So if this person did something that you know was out of character, okay, um, this person could have been you could be a Leo or this person could have been dealing with Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, let's see. Yeah, hit the three of cups. This person could be in a third party situation. They also, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I do pick up that this this and that person, the person that left your person who left you for someone else, they could have felt really happy with this person, like they connected on another level. But the injury that I'm picking up this person who they left you for was putting on a facade just to pull them in, okay? It was like they was just Constantly keep saying things of, oh, we got I want us to get married, got them to get them married, but they really wasn't ready for marriage. But you know how some people put on these um they do this woo work where they can get somebody to bend to them and do everything that they will. That's marriage, clean their fucking bank account out, make them um give them money consistency every consistently every week and put in a bank account, gain access to their bank accounts. Get them to tell them all their personal business and their deepest, darkest secrets that they never told anybody so they have some leverage on them. Okay? Get them to take them on trips. Okay? Around the world. Just literally submit to them. They don't bow down. Okay? And it may have them um, actually do some really shysty shit to you guys while you're working. Um, people don't believe that they, if they know we work <laughs> and they did it to people that it can't be done to them. That's pretty much what I'm picking up. But there was some major, a major tower moment, okay? I feel like your person find out that this person did that. And it's like they in battle at court for divorce or <clears throat> severing some type of financial tie with one another. Yep, yeah. divorce court. The higher friend is here. <clears throat> And this person trying to cut ties with them. And it's, they may go through a little struggle. But I feel like somebody's going to have the goods on somebody. And everything's going to work out in their favor. But it was all 
Oh, I told you guys. See, this person was manipulating them. I'm to I told y'all, they was paying some brew hot within themselves, knew how to do it, or they was being smart and paying somebody else to do it. So, like, if they would go over one of the houses, they wouldn't forget that they had kind of work or um, some type of work taking place, and they didn't want that person to see. So, this person was building illusions for them. He got a magician and the seven of cups. This person was building the illusion, putting on a facade just to will this person in, okay? And they was definitely watching them like crazy. Um, they was protected and guarding their relationship. This person that they left, your person who they chose over you, was putting on a, um, a facade. And they were actually, they even had a little boy too, I see. This is a little boy. It could be a little girl, but it's a little preteen boy. Yeah. <clears throat> Some of them kept it a secret at work that they had a child. Like they kept their personal life to themselves and only told certain people. <laughs> they could have been married to somebody else, the uh, third party. Third party kept a lot of secrets. A lot of secrets. This person could have been pregnant a lot and had uh, multiple abortions. It was like they'll get pregnant, show proof, and then they'll say that they lost a child. Or, but they actually aborted the child. Somebody could be writing a book or writing um, something down really sneaky. Um, somebody could be doing something. They could have got this person to buy them a car, 7, 18 on the clock. Wow, this I just feel like this person is out for blood. They could be recording them, telling everybody their business, their personal business. Anything else here? You guys need to be careful. Damn. You guys need to be careful. I feel like somebody needs to seriously look into their finances and save. Like, this person is getting major karma. Okay? Because this the person that they chose over you was happened, unfortunately. I know for some of you said that's not unfortunate, but it is, you guys. You know, everybody has to learn a lesson for a reason. It could be something that took place in their past life. And in this lifetime, they have to pay their karmic debt, okay? I don't like to see anybody hurt. I don't like to see anybody used and abused. I mean, that's just me. No matter what they've done, you guys, people have to understand. When people go, when people do, like say, when people do something really bad to you, it's because they something happened in, in their past life. With you, it could have been you that done something to them in the past life. So now it's like you have to endure the same thing you put out from your past life. You know, some people don't learn stuff because somebody hurt them, somebody did them wrong, and then they, they put up this big wall and guarding their heart and feeling like nobody's going to love them. But that's not true. Everybody deserves love. Everybody deserves love. And there's always multiple people for people. It's all about us going out there and you're going to find someone and you ain't going to find nobody sitting on your ass in the house y'all and being isolated all the time now unless y'all on some fucking social media platform or some dating app that's different okay and be careful with them things too that's trying to come out but I'd rather somebody doing a protection spell from somebody because somebody keep attacking them. Y'all need to be careful. This could be a former or ex-wife or a former ex-partner. And I'm literally feeling romantic partner, but I'm also, this could be a, uh, a former or current partner at your place of employment. I'm also getting, what was the other one? A romantic partner at work, somebody you used to uh, mess around with, had a romantic thing, uh, rendezvous at work. This person is going to is upset that you broke up with them or you want to divorce them, but this is 721 on the clock. This person is out for revenge, so you need to be careful. They think you acting as like, like it doesn't matter or it doesn't hurt. If I can't have you, no one will, is what I'm picking up. Y'all need to protect yourself too. This is a really sneaky, ooh, very manipulative person. Like they're smiling your face, but they're doing some devilish shit behind your back. If you see this man's face, 
Mais. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I swear, you guys better protect your energy. That's the energy that I keep picking up. Like this person is is gonna be after you. Protect your fucking energy. Y'all see, y'all see this knife in her hand. Y'all better be careful. And she comes off as though you know what she's cool about everything, but she's not. She's gonna try and do something to y'all. So I just wanna let y'all know. Be careful. Let me see what else comes out. Any other messages? Hold on, y'all. Because I keep picking up this energy. Something mentally wrong with this person. And your person needs to be careful. Mm. Hold on one second. Yeah, this person has some. Hold on. Oh, wow. This person is not thinking straight. <laughs> They're mad because they can't get their way. It's, it's like they blinded by pain. Okay? So, this person, your, love, your ex lover, who I feel is going to come back to you. This Aries where it is. Or somebody with Aries in their chart. I feel like this person. Who they left you. The third party. The third party is cooking up something. I told you this person was putting on a facade. But this person. If the number 14 means anything to anybody. The 13 or 16. I feel like this person, I feel like this person is actually going to form some type of attack because now they feel alone and they have to do everything alone. What other message you have here? I just feel like this person got a lot going on in their head. They mentally unstable. It's like they losing themselves. Forgetting what's up is like losing themselves. But their mind is fragmented. Like so many thoughts come through their head. They should be on medication. And they asking themselves, like, really, is this me? Am I really doing this? But yet they continue to keep doing it. I'm telling you, they having a lot of bad thoughts. See, this is what I kept picking up. Fragmentation. I pick up that this person has a lot of distorted images coming through them or things that they want to do to your former love interest love. So it's like your love interest knows this and they feel such, I wouldn't want to, well, I'm going to say it, yeah, hatred towards this person. Like, how can I be a fool? How did I fall for this? But they need to be careful because this person will hurt them. Like if they have a, a concealed carry, a gun, they will shoot them because they upset and they mad and they can't get their way. They like throwing a little tipper tantrum. If they have a knife on them at that particular time, they will stab them or slice their throat and they just leave their body there. I'm serious. And then literally, if they got blood on them, they'll walk right out the building. They don't care. So this person has mental issues. They literally unstable. They're literally un unstable. They will hurt you too just to get back at your, uh, your ex. Yeah, that's going to be some major chaos. Y'all, I'm telling you, if y'all don't have a concealed carry right now, I'm telling you, you better get one. Somebody's forming some type of alliance with someone to, I'm telling you, somebody's going to come after you guys. They're going to try to sacrifice you, but this was in reverse. Sacrifice? If the number seven mean anything to you guys, it was in reverse. So they're not going to get towards you. Your answer's not going to allow it. Especially if you haven't done anything to this person. They, they could have trolls on your social media platform too, watching you. Yeah, this person doesn't like to be alone. They could like being around multiple people. They always put on a facade. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, Lars. See, they, are, they all come off as peace, peaceful or, um, around other people, but they really are tired. 
It's like they throw a lot of temper tantrums. They don't get their way. Okay? A lot of temper tantrums. So, you guys, please be careful. Most definitely um, have your protection up. And, and I mean physical protection, not just spiritual. Okay? Because there's multiple ways people can get to you. That can be uh, spiritual. It can be physical as well. They can actually send somebody towards you, you know, to harm you. You know, if you're really from the streets, streets, people don't, people don't have to use spiritual. They'll get to you one way or the other, but they'll get to you in a physical way. Okay? They'll most definitely get to you in a physical way. And they don't even have to do all the lead work. They'll have somebody else. They'll pay somebody else to do the lead work. Like if you're from the streets, the hood, they will pay somebody to take you out. I'm telling y'all. Y'all need to be very mindful because some people know people. They may come off all nice and quiet, but you don't know who they know where you live at. And they will have somebody take you out for whatever reason they choose. You know what I'm saying? So y'all need to be careful. Okay. I would advise y'all to go get a concealed carry. Make sure y'all stay strapped up. Make sure <laughs> you have your paperwork with you because if something goes down, you have a right to defend yourself. Okay. So with that being said, in the midst of you defending yourself, you have your paperwork proving that you have a concealed to carry. Um, if you see this person around your home, y'all make sure, make sure you recording everything, okay? Some people be really sneaky and what they'll do with us, they'll switch up on cars or they'll come around in cars with tinted windows, okay? Monitor them cars, take a picture of them cars, because paperwork don't lie. People have to register shit, even if it's a dog on a rental car. If a detective is put on to where they have to do their lead work, they're going to find out who, how should I say this, who actually rented the vehicle and who's connected to the person who rented the vehicle. It's going to be a re trust me, everything has a paper trail. Let's just say that. Make no, no mistake about it. Everything has a paper trail. <clears throat> There's always receipts for proving things, okay? And you guys need to literally be careful. This person has been hurt a lot, both the third party as well as you and your um, your ex lover. <clears throat> but they use this to get what they want. It's like, no, I don't want to lay down, sit down with nobody, lay down with nobody. I don't want to. And when I say that, I mean as far as like <clears throat> really be stable with them. They put on the side like they want all this, but they really don't. They now this could be somebody who's about to retire soon, and they're trying to get all their finances together. And make somebody pay them for alimony, and they really didn't even want to be in a marriage with them. They just did it just so they can pay them out. Made could have made them sign some type of contract loves. Oh, that if you leave me or you cheat and we do this, and I don't know about it, then you gonna have to pay me this. I don't know where forty thousand dollars is coming from. <clears throat> um, so I know that has to be for someone. Someone has to most definitely have secretaries in their chart. Excuse me, us. Yeah. <laughs> Here go this fragmentation. Yeah, something is the really distorted in this person. They're not to be trusted, love. So please be careful, love. Okay, love. Oh my gosh. That is, wasn't something very good to hear, but uh, uh -huh. hold on. Well, I'll do those in another video. Well, you know what? I'm going to cut it off now because I'll do those. Because I have an intuition to use the uh, Ancestors deck. But I'll do that in separate ones for you guys. Um, I'll do like a uh, maybe a three card spread from Ancestors. Uh, if they have messages for you guys for each element. Um, so you guys don't forget to um, give your girl a thumbs up to show your support. And please do not forget to um, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um... Also, don't, uh, did I say, yeah, I already said the notification. So, if you guys do need a read, I was going to do one for a while. But, if I'm led to and you guys need one, I'll do it. Most definitely do it for you. Um, please email me at spiritualgift777 at gmail.com. Loves. Uh, until next time, I love you guys. Take care.